In this video, I'm going to show you how to export the information from multiple storm or sanitary element types, manholes, catch basins, conduits, etc., out to Excel in one go. So on the report ribbon, there are a number of options. Flex tables, for example, let's us use predefined flex tables, for example, the conduit table here. And we can use the export to file option and choose to export to a text or to a CSV file. We can customize the information that this flex table contains and format the information to use our preferred number of decimal places and units and move the columns around to get a format that's to our liking. So you can change the information, you can change how the information is displayed, but the flex table only applies to one type of element, in this case, conduits. You can create your own flex tables and again, customize them to contain the information that you want. But again, there is one flex table per type of element. Now, we do have some predefined flex tables that can contain two types of element, such as the combined pipe node report. So if we have a look at that, it's containing the pipes and the nodes and some information about them. Again, there are some customizations that we can do to this table, but the basic layout of the table is predefined. Now, what if I want to include in my Excel spreadsheets conduits and catch basins and head walls and whatever other element types I have all in one go? Well, I can do that by going to the Home ribbon and going to Export Utilities, Export Excel. Now, the top left part of the dialog lists the element types and the icons tell me that I have conduits in my design file. I don't have laterals, I have gutters, I have catch basins. So I can check on the element types that I want to include in my export. Now by default, all of the properties for these element types will be included in the export. So for conduits, for example, over on the right hand side, we can see all of the properties. Now, if I'm trying to create a setting out report, for example, that's far more information than I need. So I can customize that information using the flex tables that I've already created. So instead of saying that I want to include all properties, I can, from the list, pick my conduit flex table. And that reduces the number of properties that are going to be included. I'll do the same for the catch basins, and I'll do the same for the head walls. And as you see, when I pick the flex table, the number of items, the number of properties that are included reduces. We can choose whether to export to Excel or to a CSV file. I'll leave it at Excel, click OK. I'm just going to create an Excel spreadsheet, name it, and that information is exported. So if we now go and open that spreadsheet, we can see that only the information that we specified in the flex tables is included. Now we do automatically include information on the scenario and the time step, but apart from that, it's just the information in the flex table. So we can see we've got for this conduit sheet, we've got invert level, start and stop node, length, diameter, feature definition, that kind of thing. The same for the catch basin sheet. Just expand those column widths and we can see the information that's in there. And the same again for the head walls. So as you can see, that's a simple way to create a multi-sheet Excel spreadsheet containing the information that we want with the 
column positions and the formatting that we choose. If I close that and I come back to my export Excel option, down at the bottom of the panel, we have an option here to exclude topologically inactive elements. What does that mean? If I scroll in on this data and I pick one of these elements and I have a look at the utility properties, there's a setting here, is active, and that's set to false. So in this particular scenario, these elements are not active. So if I export to Excel again and I check that option, only the elements that are active in this scenario will be exported to the Excel spreadsheet. So in this case, I have two networks, one of them's active, one of them's inactive. So that's a way by which I can control which elements are written to the Excel spreadsheet. If I had multiple networks and I wanted to only export one network at a time, I could create a scenario for each network and set the is active property appropriately in each scenario. Another technique that I could use is to apply a filter to my flex table. So for example, for the conduits flex table, I could right click on the diameter column and say filter custom. And I could say that I only want to include pipes with a diameter that is greater than a certain value. So if I type that in, and I click apply, that tells me that six out of the 17 pipes satisfy that query. So if I click OK on that, the bottom of the flex table dialog now shows the text filtered. So we know that the content in that flex table has been filtered. If I now go back to the export Excel dialog, you can see that all of the settings from the previous run have been remembered, and it's also picked up the fact that the conduit flex table has been filtered. It shows me the filter that's been used. So if I check on the option here, only the elements which are included within the active filters will be published. Finally, there's these options here for using a selection or a selection set to control the elements that are going to be published. So let's have a look at that. I'll open my conduit table again and remove the filter. If I go to utilities view and queries, I've set up two queries, one to include conduits that are above a certain diameter and another to include catch basins that are above a certain diameter. So I can now use the selection sets option to create a new selection set from a query. So I choose the queries that I want to include, click add, so that's included those two queries in the selection set. So I can OK that. And then I can go back to the Export Excel option. And now the option to use a selection set is available. So I can turn that on and pick the selection set there. So that's another way to control the elements that are going to be published to the Excel spreadsheet.